welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you? Okay, today we are going to finally talk about stock investing. Someone told me to talk about stock investing and I kind of asked you guys for something you wanted to hear. And you know, because you said it, I'm here and I just want to talk just a little bit about beginning stock investing, okay? So the number one thing I want to tell you about stock investing is that just start. Just start. Why should you just start? Because literally investing in stocks, yeah, people are scared of losing money, but the truth is that, you know, you are most likely going to make money because investing in stock is like investing in america and you know america this country is a great country and let me tell you if you bet on america you're always gonna yeah. win just start okay so how do you start is the second question that you asked me and i would say robin hood robin hood is an app this is what it looks like this is the app you just go to the app store um you find the robin hood app you download it and you're good to go okay so i have an iPhone, so I'm going to talk about the App Store. So on the App Store, you type Robinhood up there to search, and then this is the stock you want to download. And pretty much, um, if you go on the comment, like the description button of this video, just down there, you can see a link. I would use that link to download Robinhood because if you use that link, you get a free stock. Okay, and trust me, we all want free things now. Just to let you guys know, I've gotten an Apple stock from Robinhood for free. I've gotten multiple stocks because you know I also get stock when I refer people. So if you use if you use my link, I'll get a free stock. You get a free stock, but yeah, please um, use my link. I mean, that's the only thank you that you know you can tell me for sharing what I know uh, about stock investing. And one of the disclaimers that I'm gonna make right now, right away, is that you know I'm not a certified financial um, expert or financial advisor and it's always advisable that when you want to start um, investing in the stock market you seek the help of a certified or you know um, licensed financial planner or financial advisor so I'm not that and what I'm sharing is pretty much what I have learned over the years okay so download Robinhood app and then when you open the app this is what it looks like on the home page it just kind of tells you how much you have and right now it's just giving me i can because i trade crypto i can you can do like a live you can do like one day you know you can tell you what you've gained in you know three months in one month and stuff like that so but anyway i like robin hood because it's really easy and again i like it because of the free stock so please um use my link to download so that you can get a free stock okay and if you get a free stock hold it um for luck for most time unless maybe you start seeing it loses value because i've gotten an apple stock which is a high value stock but most of the stock that i've gotten is like stock that's like four dollars five dollars my sister actually got a five dollar stock that is now fifteen dollars so you know those stocks that they give you for free they can be like a really hot company and the value can go up so now that you started you've downloaded the app after that you get your you know you get your free stock what next so the first advice that i would give in terms of stock investing is just like you know be careful start small Okay, start small, you know, that money that you can lose and you're not going to, you know, lose your head over, you know, like even let's just say you're the kind of person that you feel like all the money you're making right now, you spend them all, you don't have any savings, you know, you don't have any money put away that you can use to like invest, you know, give up something for a while, like give up nails, you know, oh, that's my nails. I actually tried out kiss nails, it's just stick on nails, can you see how pretty it is? give up doing nails for a couple of months and use your forty dollars sixty dollars eighty dollars i don't know i spent one sixty five dollars doing nail one time but use that money you spend on nails once a month you know and because it's money you are going to spend anyway right so even if you lose it it's okay because the thing with the stock market is that you are definitely and i'll give you guys a few tips here that will definitely keep you like making money instead of losing money for the most part but you know just my first advice really is just start with money you can afford to lose because i'm not going to tell anybody to go grab all their savings and put in the stock market yes the stock market is going to give you more earnings for you know even your savings or money that you you put away but i will never take all my savings personally and put in the stock market because the stock market definitely comes with risk and you know 
most of the time your savings can be like your your backup like if you lose your job god forbid you know money you're going to use to pay your rent and stuff like that so those are not money you should really put in the stock market okay until you know what you're doing at least so now that i've told you where you're going to get the money so if you have some savings you know i will start with like a little bit of, a little bit of money like probably if you're starting maybe 500 bucks right let's say you have 2k saved up that is not your emergency funds you know you can start with like maybe 500 bucks or even 100 or 200 like i said just your nail money give up doing nails if you don't have any savings you know give up something that you know that is not going to kill you it's just like a luxury um, um expenditure to make you know room for money that you can afford to lose so that you can start investing because it's good because you have to learn before you can like be comfortable. I know a lot of people that take years and they're afraid of investing. Meanwhile, they could have been making a lot of money because the reason why the stock market is good is because like if you take, if you had 50K saved and you put it in the your, in the savings account, they probably give you like what 0.3% or 1% if you put in a CD and stuff but you know if you take 20k and put in the stock market in a year i mean if you do if you do the right thing even if you don't make money at least make you make 20 percent you know you make 10 percent or something i will show you guys a few stock now so anyway without further ado the very safest stock options pretty much is what you call like etf so what's an etf let me just explain etfs they are pretty much like essentially they have a lot of different company stock in their stock so that's why like it's kind of averaged out you know it's pretty much like the very opposite of putting your eggs in one basket it helps you kind of pick the multiple basket to put your eggs but most times they they don't yield as much as like if you knew that there was a stock that was hot i mean i'll show you guys some more stocks and you see what i'm talking about there's some stocks that have done one thousand percent already this year so anyway that's etfs and that's where i will start you know it's just the etfs so now stock street so if you go to robin hood here and you type just type the letter etf shows you a bunch of etfs some of them on the s&p 500 and you can just pick most of those etfs i'll pick some of my favorite ones and i'll share with you so for example van van egg vectors um gold etf is one that i i kind of fox with and i'll show you for example like etfs will make you about 24 percent you know 20 percent 10 percent some of them annually and this is like what i'm showing you here is the annual performance of this etf and i can also show you the five years is like 160 percent so these are some of the things that you can look at to see what can make you money and i look at the long term because the short term you know see like this one now the short term is lost like seven percent but that doesn't really matter unless you are just trying to do put your money in for the um for the short term my focus is usually on long term so this one is about 24 percent last year um one etf that i also like is tan tan is a solar etf as you guys know um joe biden is coming as president and solar is definitely like just alternative energy is something that is hot right now because we expect it to take off because you know we're going to get funding um to help have more options for alternative energy <clears throat> so you see this solar etf has actually made um 232 percent in the last year so even with etf you know you can also make um a lot of a good rate in the last three months it's made 74 percent etf um, solar has actually taken off within the last couple of years and i think this one hasn't last hasn't been going for more than up to five years but you can see what, how much that's made in the time it's been around so tan is another etf that i like so now personally my strategy for stock market because you know i've learned a, a, a few things you know so i actually tend to be you know a bit more like bold with some of the things i i do so one etf i like that i feel like is you know it's a high ending etf is qqq i mean it's a bit expensive per stock and one thing i like i like about robin hood is that if you can't buy a whole stock for example this uh, etf qqq is 30930 
But let's say you only want to invest $100 and you want to put it in this QQQ. You can just go ahead and, you know, do like trade, right? And then you click on buy. And where, while you are on buy, you, instead of, you see where it says shares, you can change it to buy in dollars. And then you can just put how much you want to put. So that's why I like Robinhood. It's called fractional shares. So Robinhood allows you to trade fractional shares. And that's one of the things I like about it. Because now, even though the stock is 300, you can just say 100, you know, review. And then you just say um, buy. Okay. So, but anyway, that is QQQ. So another um, ETF that I personally like is TQQ, which is pretty much um, QQQ, but higher earning. It's called ProShares Ultra. Most of this, um, the QQQ and the, um, the TQQQ, they are all like tech ETFs. So they, they kind of invest mostly in the, in the tech companies. So this is what this particular one has done in the last year, about 101%. So, you know, pretty good stuff, even though it's an ETF. So, and, now that we've covered um, ETFs, I will share some of my favorite um, sectors that I invest in and, you know, just give you some other stocks that you can kind of look, do some due diligence, track for a while and see if you might be interested in, in buying. Again, like I said, once you start, I would focus on, you know, mostly ETFs. But now, how do you select companies to buy stock? Sometimes people do it by sector. Most times you should kind of think of what you do for a living, the knowledge that you have ordinarily, and how you can, you know, leverage those knowledge in terms of learning about a company. Because for me, I, you know, I read a lot. And one of the person that I kind of listen to in terms of stock investing is Warren Buffett. We all know Warren Buffett, the guy who made a shitload of money on stocks. And one of the things that he says is that you should always attack buying a stock of a company as if you're going to buy the company. So you should do enough due diligence. Like, you know, pretty much I want to buy an Apple stock. It is because if I had all, if I had enough money, to buy every single stock of Apple and acquire Apple. I am okay with acquiring it because I know that Apple can make money. Does that make sense? So just pretty much in the stock investing terms is called due diligence, but please do not put your money into any company without really understanding what they do, how they make money. Because for me, I feel like that is the fastest way to lose your money. So that said, um, the companies, me, I'm an engineer. I work in clinical research. So I have knowledge about technology, tech companies. I have knowledge that I can help, that can help me research tech companies and also biopharmers and pharmaceutical companies because I do clinical research, drug research, right? So that said, the tech sector is one of a, is a popular sector that I know I have um, knowledge in and I invest in. So technology stocks like just the ones that everybody knows like Apple, Amazon, um, you know, those stocks are doing well. I can show you how much Apple has done um, within the last one year. So Apple's thicker name is AAPL. And Apple is now 131. And within the last one year, it's made about 85%. Okay, so Tesla is another hot stock in tech. Everybody probably knows about Tesla. Electric vehicles in general is um, an area that I'm excited about because I know that most people like Tesla about. So Tesla stock right now is 660. I know when this stock was way less than that. In this year, Tesla has made um, 67%. And so, you know, it's definitely a stock that is worth buying if you have that kind of money. But like I said, for Robin Hood, you can even put $10 on Tesla stock. And that's why I like it. Okay. So Tesla is an electric vehicle. It's technology general, but also an electric vehicle. 
so other electric vehicle stocks that i've also kind of fucked with is nio and you can research it more so if you don't have 660 dollars to put in tesla well this one only costs 45.98 right now and in the last year look at what it has made yes your eyes is not deceiving you 1770 something percent that's a lot so pretty much if you put one dollar here last year that's your one dollar is how much one thousand seven hundred and something so my dear stock market is making people rich every day so another um i like this is in fact let me just stop tesla and nio are my favorite electric company stock There's also a company i recently got interested in called qs they make batteries for electronic vehicles and so that's their ticker qs they really rallied recently but they are now over a thousand percent in the last year okay i think they haven't even been around for a year quite honestly and they're already over a thousand percent go figure what other sectors well i told you about biopharma biopharma stock i will not talk about it in a beginner um stock investing um youtube video because i just feel like those stocks are most of the time high risk you have to do your research very well to pick a biopharma stock to research in so we'll leave that one for later if you guys want to learn more after watching this video just hit me up and we can talk more about that sector what that sector solar i talked about solar solar is hot now so apart from the solar etf tan which is very good tan is a solar etf for me i will just start there but there's also FSLR, which is called First Solar. And again, I'll tell you how much they've done in the past year. They've done about 75%. So it's a, so it's a solar stock that I also like. Another sector and another way to like pick stock is pretty much um, what are the things you spend money on? If you're somebody that buys everything on Amazon like me, just buy some Amazon stock, even if not ten dollar, hundred dollar. Just put on Amazon stock. At least a fraction of all those money you are spending, share something can come back to you. I love Nike in terms of the things that you buy, the stock that you buy. I love Nike stock. I've had Nike stock for a while, and so it's kind of close to my heart because I feel like Nike is a consistent brand that I actually really like. Right now they are down today or the last trading day, which was a couple of days ago. But um, look at that. This year they've made 40%, and it's an old company. It's a solid company. So 40% is really good for a company that is so stable. But I like Nike because, I mean, just throw your money on Nike and forget about it. Nike is steadily making money. The last three months they made some money. The last one month they missed on they're just small small but they are making money the last five years nike has made the horror 18 percent so i like nike that's one of my reasons and then now as coronavirus is leaving us by god's grace so god help us one area that is also going to start rebounding like getting you know getting um back on its feet from all the losses and everything is the travel industry so airlines hotels and sometimes just pick your favorite hotel like me yeah so like me i mean guys if you follow me enough you already know that you know i'm a lifetime marriott platinum member i've been married you know doing marriott hotels for the past what 13 years and um you know if i wanted to buy a hotel stock i would start with the Marriott brand because it's a brand that you know it's close to my heart because the brand that i like if i if you like to spend your money on something chances are you know it, it matters to you and there's some there's a reason like me personally i like the Marriott brand because it's a brand that for me i you know, needs picky sometimes and in terms of cleanliness is one of the you know hotel brands that usually they do a very good job with cleanliness keeping their hotel rooms clean and so like if i had how much billion let's see how much billion i need to buy marriott but essentially i know that if i had that amount of money i would buy it when i so buy a hotel stock that's where i'll start so marriott has a couple 
of um, the French dog. They have the Mario International and then the Mario Vacations. I've already done a little bit of research, so I know that the Mario Vacation is actually like a better stock to buy at this point. And in the last one year, it hasn't really made any money. It's um, 3% because you see where they were before the stock market went down in March for coronavirus um, crash, which was which happened in March. They have they just right now getting back there. So this is a good time to like get it because you are pretty much going to be entering as if you ent you entered it last year, which is a good thing. So you can see that they already said they're recovering. The last one week they made three percent. Last one month, 0.5 percent. The last three months they've made 48 percent. So. That means the people who bought the stock when it was still down there, they are now reaping the benefits. So, but I still feel like it's a good time to go in. So pretty much if I had 5.5 billion, I know I would buy Mario. So it's a stock that I don't mind putting my hundred dollars because I know that I believe in the brand. Um, airline stock, I know that people, have, people say that Delta is probably the best, you know, US airline, even though these days every airline share has its own wahala. But personally, I fly United more than I fly any other airline. So quite honestly, if I wanted to invest in an airline, I'll probably start with United. I'll, but I wouldn't just do United because I like them. Because I mean, with airline, it's for me, I feel like it's an industry that is a bit shaky, a bit riskier because, you know, things like just COVID now just made them, their income really tank. So I'll do more research or more due diligence and see which of the airline that I want to buy. And I've been doing airline then due diligence actually. I've researched um, Delta, um, United, American Airlines, and JetBlue because those were the four ones that I was kind of looking at. So I'll, I'll just keep continuing my research. And then I usually I'll start with picking one and then see where it goes. So another sector that I like, you know, I like gold jewelry. I know that gold is something that is not going anywhere. You know, I love gold, 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 gold stock. So I trade some gold. So one gold stock that I trade is called AUY. And you know, you just type whatever you want, search here. Called Yamana Gold, it's very cheap stock, 570 now. In the last year, it's made 47% so pretty decent um because gold is something like it's not going to make you a thousand percent anytime soon but it's not going to also lose you money anytime soon in five years it's made 204 percent so very stable um kind of stock here aui and i think the gold um etf so everything kind of has its etf the gold etf that i like is also called gdx so that's the Van Vecca gold ETF. I think we talked about that earlier. So in the past year, it's made 24% versus AUI that has made like 40 something percent, but it's also very good. It's an ETF. So it gave more stable because it averages a bunch of different gold stock. So we will can talk about cryptocurrency on our next, um, you know, future class, but cryptocurrency is also something I trade that was very, you know cautious about it before but now man bitcoin is almost twenty five thousand. i thought it was going to reach 25k on christmas day um uh, um i also trade i trade just a little bit of bitcoin but also other cryptocurrency and we can talk about that in a different class but let me guys know um how i did with this class so just to recap so again to recap one um just that okay first advice I gave was just that. Two, where do you start? Download Robinhood app, use my link on the bottom, just download the app, you get a free stock, I get a free stock, and there's a lot of great free stock to get. So that's the second one, download the Robinhood app. Three, just invest with any money you have, small money you have that you can lose. Please do not invest with all your savings. It's not advisable. And quite honestly, if you're going to really go into stock investing full time or want to invest a lot of money, please talk to a licensed, trained financial advisor. Okay? So, three, invest only money you can afford to lose, at least in the beginning. Four, when you start picking your stock, start with 
ETFs, their index funds, they average a bunch of companies. It's really, um, you know, the safest way to invest is with um, ETFs. I showed you how to search Robinhood ETF again. Ask me any question or anything you don't get. Rewind. And then five, um, when you're picking stock, I shared some of the um, sectors that I like. And I also told you how to kind of pick sectors to focus on. I would focus on like where you have expertise because definitely you want to learn about a company before you buy their stock. And I talked about a bunch of stock that I like. Okay, so until next time, Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and I'll be waiting for your questions. I think we'll have to do like a bunch of stock videos for me to really teach you guys, you know, a little bit more because there's like so much to learn. Like, listen guys, this is so fun. This is how I have survived COVID-19 for the most part. It's really just by learning a lot about stock investing. Now that you know a little bit more about the stock market, you know, first of all, just uh, from what you've learned already, ask me some questions. Let me know, drop your questions in the comment section. Let me know if I went too fast, what you did not understand. I am very happy to explain more. Okay, so if you're still watching at this point, I have an extra tip for you. So my extra tip that I have for the day is really like, just a few ways you can do your due diligence with Robin Hood. So, um, one of the things that Robin Hood app has, if you go after searching for a stock, this is my Marriott um, vacation stock, VAC. And if you scroll down past, you know, all those um, line items and get over here, over here. So pretty much close to where they have like the earnings so earnings you know over here you can see earnings and it tells you like how much they pro projected they were going to earn which is a faint line and how much they actually earn but one thing it tells you is like how analysts so this financial analysts that are like life science and trained what they are saying about the stock so for example eight analysts have actually reviewed this stock and out of the eight analysts, 88% of them are saying that this is a good time to buy. 13% are saying this is a good time to hold. And 0% are saying this is a good time to sell. Because like I told you, these airline stocks, they are just barely now recovering from where they were before um, coronavirus. So this is really a good time because you'll be buying it like you bought it last year. So. But anyway that is my, my extra tip for today okay doesn't matter so just um you know i think that i've talked a lot about just you know things you know i hope i haven't convinced you um i haven't confused you too much please just kind of give me feedback let me know if there's something particular you wanted me to kind of slow down and focus on um but again like i said we talked about just get in where you should find the money take a break from doing nails take a break from doing lashes you know just small small things it's definitely <laughs> take a break from doing individual lashes for 200 dollars and 150 and just buy at that johnson strip lashes it's on sale now seven dollars to be using and you know save use your money um to invest in the stock market so till next time thank you guys for watching my youtube channels thank you guys for the love over the last few months um and do let me know what you want me to talk about do ask me any more questions on stock i'm happy to make another video on stock and just focus on one thing or the other that you guys want to hear and i've been admiring my lipstick since so who else is admiring my lipstick guys this lipstick is going to be dropping on our website soon it's a lip stain just matte doesn't stain i ate my christmas rice and it's still here Anyway, check our website out. We have a lot of fine, fine, fine beauty products. We have a lot of fashion pieces. Please, please check us out. Okay, www.alladjohnsonworld.com. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Give me a thumb up, please, if you like it. Drop a comment, drop a question. 
and also let me know what else you want to hear about okay and push the notification button so that next time i drop a video you will be the first to know okay bye bye